Let's talk about another key concept within Excel VBA. We're going to talk about loops. Now, there's actually several different ways to get code to repeat multiple time. That's what a loop is all about. We're going to talk about one of them. We're going to talk about a do while loop. Now, once again, there's a few other variations to loops, but this is a very common one. And we'll actually see a few other loops as we continue into the projects uh, as we continue through this course. So first off, let's get into a do while loop. The ability to be able to do something, whether it's a single statement, a single action, or multiple actions while a specific condition is true. Take a look. So I'm back inside of the file. This is just a brand new file that we started up just a couple of lectures ago. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but I'm going to keep working inside this one. Uh, one, I'm going to go ahead and delete up this procedure. I don't need it anymore. I'll just highlight it. I'll delete that out of there. Now, just so I have a new worksheet to work with, I'm going to go ahead and insert a new worksheet. Just hit that little plus sign down there or the new sheet button. And I'm going to create a new procedure. Uh, within this procedure, we're going to create a loop that will go through a range of cells and determine if those cells are greater than X amount. Let's say 10. If they're greater than 10, the value of 10, then we'll change the interior or background color of the cell. Okay. So actually, before I create the procedure, I'm just going to jump into my new sheet and just right here and say column A, I'm going to put in 10 values. So I'm just going to make up some numbers here. It really doesn't matter, just so we have something to be able to work with. I want a few that are less than 10. I want a few that are more than 10, uh, just so we have a variation of, of digits inside of here. All right, let me get one more. We'll do this one less. All right, I'm going to start up here at the top. All right, back inside my VBA window. So we're now going to create a new procedure that when I run it, it will go through all these cells. It'll loop through each of them one at a time, check to see if it's greater than 10, and if it is, it'll change its background color. All right, so I'm back over here inside my VBA. I'm gonna insert a new procedure. We'll give this one a name, we'll call it Fun with Loops. I'm gonna leave the rest of the settings default. It's gonna be a sub procedure, it's gonna be public in scope, and I'll hit OK. So there's the beginnings of my procedure. Let's just move that up so it's out of, out of the way of my fat head. All right. Now, we're going to introduce a variable in here that we're going to end up using within the loop. And as we start creating this procedure, I'll talk our way through it. So first part, we're going to declare a variable. Remember how to do that? Start with my keyword of dim. I'm going to call it i. And the type as is going to be an integer. And I'll talk some more about that here in just a moment. Now I'm gonna right away, I'm gonna go ahead and make i equal to one. All right, so we got a variable, it's called i. Right off the bat, we give it a value of one. Now, why is that important? Well, let's start creating the loop and then this will start to come into focus. So the loop that I'm gonna use is called the do while loop. I want to repeat something, whatever that is, multiple times while a specific condition is true. So in this case, I'm going to say do while i, remember our variable, it's currently equal to 1, is less than, less than or equal to 10. Here's my loop do while i, our i variable currently equal to one, is less than or equal to 10. And then we close our loop with this loop keyword here, and everything in between the do and the loop is what's gonna happen while this condition is true. Now, right now, if I were to run this just as is, i never changes value. It would just say do while i is less than or equal to 10, well, i is equal to 1, so I'm going to do some stuff. And then it's going to loop back up, and it's going to check to see if i is still less than equal to 10. If it is, it would do a bunch of stuff or whatever we told it to do, and it would just keep looping, rechecking to see if i is still less than or equal to 10. Now, within the loop, I eventually want the loop to stop because I've only got so many numbers over here that I want it to check. Okay? So 
we want to continually increment, we want to increase the value of i. That way eventually we'll reach above 10 and then our loop would stop. This condition would no longer be true. So one of the last things that's going to happen within my loop is we're going to say i is equal to i plus 1. We're just going to increase the value of i from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. Each time it loops, it'll increase the i value by 1. Just take i, add 1 to itself. So now, really what's going to happen here? Each time it loops, we want to check a cell, the active cell, check to see if its value is greater than 10. If it is, then we'll change its color. If it isn't, then we'll just move to the next cell and continue that process till our loop is all done. So I'm going to bring in a condition here. We'll say if active cells value dot value is greater than 10, then and I'll end my if. So now we got the conditional to create a little bit of flow within our procedure. So if the active cells value is greater than 10, then I want to take that active cell, whatever it is, A1 or A2 or A3, whatever the current cell is that we're on, and I want to get into its interior or the background. So active cell dot interior, it's really the background, and I want to get into the color of that interior of that active cell. So here I'm going to make it equal to a color. And I'm going to use a, a function here, it's called RGB or red, green, and blue. And I'm going to make this really simple. I'm just going to make it 255 of red, zero green, zero blue. We'll just make it full on red. Now this is the RGB function, red, green, and blue. Each of these values represent one of those colors. 255 is 100% of the color, in this case red. Zero is 0% zero of the color, in this case green and blue being 0%. So just 100% red. All right, so if the active cell's value is greater than 10, then we'll change its color. Well, again, we're looping this. And I wanted to do it for each of these cells here. So we run the loop. It'll check the active cell, in this case A1, because that's the cell that I'm currently in. But then when it loops to check I again and then perform the task once again, we need to move down one cell. Every time it loops, always move down one cell. So there's a neat little technique that we can use here. I'm still going to reference the active cell, but then I'm going to use offset. I'm going to tell it to move down or offset one cell or one row down. So active cell dot offset, we're going to do one. That's going to be the row offset. We're going to move down one row, comma zero. We're not going to move any columns. That's the zero dot select because I want to select that cell one row down. This is our loop. I want to do all of this while I is less than or equal to 10 making sure that we increment the i value so eventually our loop will stop. So this is our do while loop. You want to get something to happen multiple times, you can use a loop. This is one type. There's four loops, there's four next loops. There's a couple of different types of loops that we can use. But once again, this is perhaps one of the most common ones and we'll take a look at some others as we continue through this course. But first, let's try let's try this out. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in a1 I'm going to click back to my procedure, and I'm just going to go hit the play button, the run button there at the top of my screen. And look at that. Boop. All done. Went through all 10 of my cells. Do while i is less than or equal to 10. Keep incrementing that for each loop. If it's more than 10, change the color to red. Offsetting, moving down one row every loop. So try this out. Get your loop going. A do while and feel free to experiment I mean try some other stuff out in there if you're comfortable with it if not nail this down and as we get into the other projects you're gonna see some other loops happening within there as well so we're definitely gonna get some more experience with it